Hey, what's me right now? We're back here with The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, where we are on the road to greater things and beyond. I don't really know what this is. I wanted to sing I'm on the road again, but I don't actually know the words, so I just changed it to that. And now I'm just embarrassed. Let's go east. <laughs> Get as far away from this embarrassment as possible. We have been here before. In Breath of the Wild, of course, we are now reaching back in towards Lake Hylia is just down there. And we're all over places that we have been um, in the previous game. I mean, I suppose I've been all across the whole game because I 100%ed all the shrines, at least, in Breath of the Wild. And, like, the main quests and stuff, too. But didn't get all the Koroks and everything, so there were a bunch of places we were uh, gallivanting about in the desert there that I found quite unfamiliar to me. But now we're heading back towards places I'm, like, positive I've been before. And the plateau's over there, so we could stop off and give that a look. But I don't think I'm going to. I'd like to get as far east as possible and get some re really get some teleport points all across this place. My chief concern this episode is shrines. I want to find some shrines. I want to do some shrines. You think there are 120, probably more. I'd be seeing more right about now, but um, I'm not. <laughs> Never mind it. It's fine anyway. Bearing in mind a bunch of them are all likely to be in uh, Sky Islands above the places we're in. Ooh, it doesn't make the, the noise when uh, a you lose a stat status effect in this game. That's a little bit concerning. I mean, obviously you would know if you had the, the whole um, UI on, but it used to even do like a little to let you know it was gone, which was fun, and I appreciated it. Ah, yes, another Hudson uh, it, it's company thing here. What is this contraption right here? Huh? Oh, a stabilizer. Oh, cool. So could I just stick that to the sign and that would do? Hold on, tick here. Well, it's probably easier to attach stuff to it uh, once I have it already standing up. So what if I what if I did something like, like hear me out here for a second? I mean, it have, like, hands, like so. Whoa, maybe not that close to the center. Let go. It's a good thing this thing doesn't take too much power. I touch it more on, like, the end, so it's like, yeah. Now it's, and then if I do another one, it'll be like it's holding, like it's got hands to hold. Very interesting here. Then all I have to do is slide it in between, uh, like, sort of like this. Uh, excuse me, uh, pardon me, sorry, excuse you, pardon me, uh, excuse me. Oh, I'm not allowed to do it while it's okay. This shape might not be appropriate. <laughs> oh, it might. Let's just see how it, well it leans, like, against this. Really, you won't talk to me from here? It's not blocking it that much. I, it, this is barely in the way. You cannot tell me that this is the reason you're not talking to me right now. Why won't you speak to me? Wait, come on, seriously? This thing is so far away. <laughs> why Why won't you talk to me? There we go, okay. Why, I, how close am I? Okay, it's fine now. Wait, no it isn't. Yes it is. No it isn't. Yes it is. Uh, don't let go just yet. I gotta throw some fruit at this thing first. All right, now you can, uh, now you can think about letting go. I don't understand why it doesn't let me do this. <laughs> it's like nowhere near. And Durman's even looking around and everything like he like he was doing before, but it, it, speak to me! Oh, there we go, okay. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be too far away, isn't it? Yes. I mean, if I could leave it this close, it probably would be more fine. Oh no, maybe I can talk to him from here. Uh, let's give this a try? I, it, it just depends how the, uh, oh, I see, wow. <laughs> I was gonna say it depends, it just depends how stable this thing is, if the, the sign was gonna knock it over or not, but that was not the problem. Uh, very well, let's find one of those rocks that goes up in the sky, because they're perfect for this. All right, confirming you cannot just use recall on the sign to keep it standing upright. That would be very fun, though. But the key here is that I can make it any ridiculous shape I want, and it'll always stand up. Yeesh, I gotta be careful not to break the thing, though. So I could do something sort of like, uh... Like, this might be sort of on the way to helping us stand up. Let's see about that. Oh, but just don't be scared. It's fine. You're safe. Good. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens here. It's probably going to hit it and then tilt it to, one, to either the left or right and just fall all the way over. Yeah, like that. Uh, this is probably, it's probably still going to tilt to the left, though. It's fine, see? Alright, here's a better uh, and very good idea. Forget this thing's capability of standing upright. I'll just use it to make very wide hands. I shall hold them like this for a very long time. Oh, please say there's enough room. Yes! No. Oh, it's just too big. Oh, well, forget it. These planks are the perfect shape. All I have to do is hold one right here and then use recall on it so that it goes back there in a minute. Recall you to go right back where you just were. And now let go! Oh, did it? Does that unrecall it? Uh. Go back! Oh, well, that's lame. Why does talking to people unrecall? But if I can quickly use the recall. It'll go back up or not. Okay. 
<laughs> it drops it too fast for that. Oh! Oh, is that too tall? Because this T-shape would be perfect otherwise. Wait a minute. What if I tilt it under it like this and then go like... Bleh. Oh, it breaks it. <laughs> well, what if I just do this then? Will it hang on to that well enough? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Wait, what? No, it's fine. How is that unforgivable? Yeah, that didn't seem right. I'm sure this will work. It's fine. Is it not? Yes! Okay, good. <laughs> I'm sure that would work. Right, spent probably a little too much time on that, but I do love this kind of side quest, so... It's one of my, um... This, I, I do, I'll have these and the, the Korok, um... The ones where you bring the Korks to their friends. They're fun new additions. And I'm glad that there are, like, many of them. Thank you! And what kind of food? And... Oh, more meaty rice balls, and... Another puff shroom for some reason. Thank you so much. Once again, I feel like you're giving me a, a bit too much there, but... <laughs> you are an adult, and I will not judge your decisions. I will just reap the rewards of them. Very good, off to the east we go. There's a smoke signal up there, which is kind of interesting. Right next to a very pretty tree. I want to climb up high here um, and to get to some kind of vantage point, see if I can spot any shrines in the near vicinity. We are getting somewhat close to that storm cloud there, in which there's clearly an island or two. Where is that about? Oh, just straight ahead, cool. Above the Varen region, no less. Which I guess makes enough sense. It's pretty stormy there. Right, I keep feeling like um, there are so many shrines in this place that I've gotta be, uh, got to I've gotta be walking right past a number of them. Which would be very easy to do given we do not have a tracker at the moment. That said, we still have um, they, they, uh, Pura... Lovely, lovely Pura. At one time told us that um, Robbie was in the head of developing like new apps and stuff for the Pura pad. So it wouldn't be especially surprising if we went up to him and he was like, Yeah, sure, I can get a thing that for your pad that'll let you, that'll let you track shrines. But before any of that, what in goodness's name is going on here with all these flags? Wait. Are they marking explosives? No, they're arrows. <laughs> Hello. What? No. Smile. No, I already have one. Don't smile. Why? Why did you suddenly lose all your electricity? That was weird. D go away. Pew. I think they don't have many he much health uh, to them. Ah. It must just be like an instinct thing, but sometimes when I'm playing a game like this that requires a lot of like, where I'm watching my character physically exert themselves, my my body does that. You know that thing where you like taste iron at the back of your throat? And it burns. It's just my body's reaction to seeing all this hard work being done. It thinks that I'm the one who has to do it. <laughs> ah, God. Don't like it. Don't like it a bit. These arrows are pointing all about, though. Sort of focusing in around here. Is it going to be a talus or something? Something going on here? Hmm. This one points here. They all seem to be pointing to this rock mound here, do they not? Is that meant to be a clue that I, I'm supposed to burrow up through it or something? Hmm. Oh! There's a Korok here, is what it means. Why, hello. Is that what the arrows were directing us to, or just is that incidental here? One way or the other, I'm happy that we got that. Probably is what that was about. But now we really do need to find Hestu. We've got so many seeds and uh, a hankering for more inventory space. I'm probably going to go the, the, the blunt route and just go as many melee weapons as possible. One or two more shields wouldn't hurt as well, though. Bows I'm feeling like we're pretty good with. They're, I, I, it may be to my imagination, but it feels like they're much hardier in this game. But it's also that the enemies don't have quite as much health, I think, in this game, maybe. That's how it feels to me, anyway. That may also be a fallacy. It probably feels that way because we have way stronger weapons and I'm no longer playing on master mode. <laughs> We've made it to these smoke signals, though. And at their base, we find... Who or what? There's one here, but there's another down the way there. Hello? Huh. Oh, there's someone here. Hi! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there's no end to them. Well, this is a real pile of garbage, isn't it? Hard not to be upset at the sight. I spotted it during my travels, and the sight bothered me so much I couldn't help stopping to clean it up. <laughs> I believe that we travelers have a duty to protect the beauty of nature and not sully it with trash. Yep, when I leave a place, I want it to be cleaner than when I arrived. That's why I even travel with a broom, as you can see. Unfortunately, these tumbleweeds keep rolling in. There's just no end to it. I can't keep up. I do want to leave this place cleaner than when I arrived, so I can't just overlook all of this. I think I can make progress here if only those tumbleweeds didn't keep tumbling in. The Great Tumbleweed Purge! So, do I need to prevent them from coming in, or do I just need a way to get them out of here? I see all the fans. I hear you. But what if instead of doing anything smart with those, we just stuck one massive ball of tumbleweed together and threw it over the edge? We're probably going to hit the stick limit soon. We can also just hack them up, right? Probably could burn them too. I think I heard the stick limit of objects together is something like 50. 
but I don't know what happens at that point. Oh, it just starts unsticking them for you, I see. Nothing else for it then! Yeah! Yeah! Well, they had all kinds of junk in them, too. I don't actually know if this damages- uh, it totally damages the sword, of course it does. Because it broke our uh, sword a moment, moment ago. Can you shoot them with an arrow? <laughs> it, it, like, pu punched them away. If I got them all together, though, then surely uh, one fire would get rid of it. You know, that's what you're supposed to do with garbage. Burn it. The wind's all tumbling into this one area. Perfect. Get over there, all together, and then you're gonna set on fire. Although tumbleweed's so thick that it, like, destroys a sword that swings through it three times is very concerning. All right, we've got roughly two piles here. Let's see about how this goes. I hope that it doesn't just <laughs> fizzle out in front of my eyes. Oh, no, that's perfect. Wow, that caught up really fast. All right, I'm running out on fire fruits, though, so I gotta... Gotta be sort of careful here. Get in the fire. <laughs> They're just l rocketing this tumbleweed all around. Listen, you. Burn the garbage. Wow. <laughs> That's really satisfying. A yeah, nice charred pepper. New entry to our book. This is the last tumbleweed to be tumbled. Get tumbled. That's right, my friend. Soon you and I, we will be on the same page. <laughs> oh, the tumbleweeds are gone. Oh, did you clean them all up? There were so many! Wasn't that a lot of work? Uh, thank you so much! Please take this, it's something special I found while I was cleaning. Huh? Oh, your pouch is full. I want to give you a shield, but you gotta make some space in there first. Oh, sure! Let's see if any of this miserable pile of junk we can part with. Well, let's just drop a shield and see what the one they gave us is. There you are! This is the reward I meant to give you before. Can you believe I found this while I was cleaning? Oh, no I can't! Now that all the tumbleweeds are gone, I can handle cleaning up the rest of this tomorrow by myself. Leave it to me. Thank you so much. Yeah! Double shield action. Bing! Off we go then. But where's this? What's this other smoke child coming from? I never did 100% all the side quests in Breath of the Wild. That said, I, I mean, I barely even used any of the files. I, like the the master mode file we have running now, I haven't even killed Ganon in, so I don't have the 100% tally handy. But I believe it tracks side quests. I could be wrong about that. And it would be nice to get all the side quests in this game and Breath of the Wild someday. Oh my, that looks very shiny and important over there, doesn't it? Looks like there should be a shrine there, but isn't presently. Oh, and that there looks like a crystal that would go there to make a shrine. I smell a shrine quest on the horizon. The dis- the, the very close horizon. In fact, I smell it right under me nosters. It tickles me nose hairs, this shrine quest. Surely there's gonna be some reason- someone's gonna have found this and not gonna want to give it up. Unless we do something for them first. I see how this is going. There's a steering wheel and a sled here. I already don't like where this is going. Hello? Oh, just the two legs. Are you a fellow horse spotter? There's nowhere better to watch whole hordes of wild horses go by. Is there something wrong with that? I love horses, so like I'm here to see them in the wild. It's that simple. But you know, there is something else here almost as interesting as a horse. I also took picked up on this. You know that one crumbled part of the mountain where the ruins fell next to the stone shrine a little ways down this hill? Yes! I found this mysterious crystal that must have fallen as well. And as soon as I saw it, I had a genius idea. Mm. Look at the way this crystal glitters. Don't you think that would look handsome on a horse? I could prop it up on the saddle or attach it to the harness. Whatever makes the horse look the most incredible. <laughs> uh, I need that crystal. Aww. Makes sense. As a fellow horse lover, you'd also want to deck out your favorite steed with one. I get it. But just because I get it doesn't mean I'm going to hand it over no questions asked. Though, maybe you can help me out. Aww. I've been hearing talk about an enormous horse spotted in this region. I'd love the chance to see this giant horse myself, but I haven't had any luck so far. But here you are. From one horse lover to another, I have a proposal. If you can bring me that gigantic horse, Crystal's all yours. And I'm not going to leave you to search without a single hint, either. You should ask around at the nearby stables. A ways down the road east from here is Highland Stable. You could try there. Lots of people gather at stables. They're good places to get tips straight from the horse's mouth. But um, shh, I got it. Well, in the prior game, there is a giant horse uh, very close to this area, like right around here somewhere, but it's possible it's not in the same area, and they did specifically tell me to go to the, sh to the stable east of here, which is that, maybe? That looks very bad guy-ish. To ask about it. I suppose we could cast such a horse now with the uh, stamina potions we have here. We'd have a t hard time without, because I don't have much stamina, obviously. I have the inkling that I actually know where the aforementioned horse is, but I'm not going to go to that place that I think it is until someone tells us, because that only feels fair. I happened to watch someone else, I think, maybe catch it. But I could be remembering wrong. And that all culminates into that shrine there, so that's one we can't do just yet till we've got that giant horse to bring over here. So instead I shall be on my way uh, searching for another kind of shrine. One that's more openable, if you see what I mean. We actually were finding them all over in the desert, now I'm suddenly feeling like I'm... I've got, gone very far and not found many. Oh no, we've not, we've not actually gone that far from the last one. 
I was so caught up in the adventure, I assumed we'd gone much farther than we had. This is a very interesting monster base here. Shall we raid this while we're here? Seems unwise now that I say it aloud, but why the heck not? Let's give it a whirl, since this Gerudo bow is very uh, useful from afar. I suspect that we will have an easy time arrow timing this one guard over here. Oh my. And then seizing their platform. Hello! Goodbye! Alright. No one knows anything yet. Wait! Don't know things! That's bad for you! Stay uneducated! And you too. My my, it's a huge base, whatever. It's, it's like multi-tiered and everything. Hang on, hang on, hang on! No, no, no! Ooh, ooh, that was close. I'll grab this since I've got some empty space. Blue horn, one we don't have yet. Can we photograph those? We should, after. Whoa! Nice sturdy stick here. It's only a long stick though, not uh, not actually the sturdy one, so I won't grab that yet. We could drop this fire down here, and it seems like that's what they want us to do. Ooh, uh, moblins, we don't have any. So <laughs> Oops. We don't have any in the book, do we? When we first fought our first moblin, there was no book. I heard noises as though from behind me. I'm concerned. He's right behind me, isn't he? Nope. My imagination, it's down there, actually, the noise is coming from. There's a blue moblin. Oh wow, a picture of it looking right at us and everything while roaring at the sky. This heavyweight species of monster can be found all over Hyrule. They're physically very strong with a horn hard enough to crush a rock. With their incredibly powerful item arms, moblins have been known to pick up bokoblins and throw them as makeshift projectile weapons. I observed this. Powerful enough to crush rocks, making it sound like you could use these to make sledges as well. They're much tougher than their standard counterparts with more powerful arms and a fully developed horn on their heads to smash things with. Interesting. Was that also a terrible one I saw? No, another moblin. Um... Headshot may be good enough uh, for the two red ones. I could also just drop the torch onto the, the, the bombs like they're, they've are obviously set up for us to do, but let's have a little fun. Headshot. Not enough to take down, but it will be enough to stagger, and that's good for an opening move here. Get them all on the ground, and then I can just go, you're gone. And then, uh, whoa, 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 whoa there. No weapons for you. You're gone. And what are you doing? Uh, you're going ahead of this whole kind of thing. And it's a one floor you should get you because this is a pretty strong weapon. Oh, wow, I was way overkill. Didn't need to do that quite that much. That'll do. A traveler's sword. Ooh. We have a picture of that? That and the shiny version, I believe. Blue Moblin Horn. Lovely. And a Moblin Fang. 13. Sweet. I love you red moblins drop a horn. Oh uh, yes, we already have a picture of one. We're reaching the point where we're gonna have materials that are much better than this moblin arm that we could put to make this stealth weapon better. In fact, I think we already have a few. Ah, uh, nope. Moblin armor's still the best for that stealth thing, I think. Do you suppose that's all the monsters in this place? Yeah, yeah I'm not I'm not convinced. Um, I am going to very carefully set the TNT beside this crate and then smash it, though. Yeah, bonk! Arrows! Two, in fact. And in these nice shiny looking chests. Clunk clunk! What be here? Bomb barrel spear. Uh, I'll drop something for a moment here. Um, okay, I'm gonna drop this and it better not blow up on me. Yeet! Okay. Just because I want a picture of the throwing spear. Relatively successful stealth attack we've uh, pulled on this place. And the other chest? Do they have one of their own horns just lying around? Some ember? A stick? A horn? Ooh, nice looking shield. Probably isn't uh, worth much, but it looks cool. I shall leave it there, but... We just got a picture of it. I suppose we could burn the engines to this, but let's ascend up through here and see what we can find in this place. <laughs> We're already on this floor, but are there... Oh, more crates and such. I like such. Yeah! <laughs> that bounced in a really funny way. Crab! Yummers. <laughs> Oh my, that almost fell right on the bomb. Well, let's try and land it on the bomb. Why not? Yeah! Or not. Some fish in that one. Lovely. And up at this third floor, I don't think we actually explored really at all. Oh yes, some more crates. Let's stick them all together and just drop them all down at once. Efficiency. Yoink! Yeah! Nice. Uh, I may have just blown up all the goods that were in that. Oh, well, here are some arrows. That mercifully did not catch fire. Some more bass. Another traveler sword. More bass. Good. Oh, yet another piece of bat. Well, there was just fish blasted all over the room. <laughs> it's sort of my hope for each episode that we make at least some discernible progress. My, basically, my, my minimum for each episode is either one shrine, one tower, one main story quest, or like progress along a main story quest kind of thing. These are sort of the things I'm thinking about. Or like a memory. There's a tower there we could go uh, investigate, but I'm, I'm very uh, into the idea of c carrying on sort of the southern shore here. Getting some teleport points there. Wow, some pretty horses. And another Hudson person with the, the sign. 
I wonder just how many of these there are and if there's any reward for doing all of them. Listen, you're gonna have to get all the way off my back about this. Oh, I thought that one dropped a club. I was like, how is that possible? Whoops, uh, I mistimed that. Let's, uh, let's, let's just maybe, maybe simplify this, shall we? Yeah! Right, this sign's a bit broader. We have so many planks uh, to use with here. Perhaps something like this would work. We could, it, could I even just drape it over it and it would sort of stand in between the legs? Uh, that seems like it would weigh it down, actually. Wow, you're strong, but if I flipped it over on its uh, back here and put sort of a brace across one uh, pane here, something like this, and then held it in front of it here, that might stabilize it well enough. Oh, it would tip pretty far forward even then. Uh, give it a try. Who knows what will happen? Well, okay, I know. I know what will happen now. I have discovered what will happen. These are like almost the perfect height to just stand in front of it and balance it. Maybe if we put them on a smaller pane. Ooh, what if I did this idea again, but with the smaller one so I can actually bring it up closer, and then if we stuck the, the two poles like going from the side, like that, to stabilize it if it starts to fall to the side to side. It looks like it might still lean a bit too much. It's not gonna stop me from trying. Give that a whirl. Oh my god, it was perfect. <laughs> Holy crap. Well, I've done two of these in this episode, so that's great. Why, thank you. Why, thank you. Ooh, a bomb flower. That's not just puff room this time. Very, very likable, I consider that to be. Right, good. Now we gotta find a shrine, man. <laughs> I've been looking for one all episode. We at least got a shrine quest and a side quest done. I mean, that's, uh, I mean, we didn't get a shrine quest one. We got a side quest done and unlocked a shrine quest. Th those are both progress to be sure, but... Oh my, I really want to raid this big pirate ship. It looks so important and good. Oh my, there are a lot of people angry at this pirate ship. What is going on here? We're near the shoreline too. Whoa, that's a lot of birds circling. Oh, that's, they're just gulls, right? They just do that. I thought those were the, the shrine mark, the shrine denoting kind of birds. What are you folks all up to sitting outside this pirate ship? We having a dock party or something? Huh? So you're gonna join the fight too? Stop right there! You can't just walk up to my squad and start jabbering at them like that. Oh, hey, I thought I recognized you from somewhere. Aren't you that missing swordsman? You're all anyone at Lookout Landing talked about when I was there. Uh, but you seem good. I'm happy to see it. Anyway, this is the monster control crew. We help keep the peace in Hyrule by taking out as many monsters as we can. I'm Flaxel, captain of Squad 3. It's real nice to meet you. We were just on our way to rough up those monsters over there. <laughs> Why am I not allowed to talk to your squad? But the bridge of the ship's collapsed, so we don't have a way to board it. We can give those monsters a real whooping if we just get that bridge fixed. Right, or... Consider this... I could take them out, and then we don't have to risk any more civilians. Black Moblin. Ooh. I think it's time for our super stealth weapon. The most Among the most dangerous types of Moblin, they're extremely resilient, and a blow from a heavy horn can easily crush a rock. All right. Everyone, be real quiet. Special controls. Oh, we have a whole bunch of new ones. But there are two we're missing, curiously. Oh, also, um, I think it was recently announced that there will be no DLC for this game, which is good, because I was um uh, asking about that earlier, and it's nice to have an answer, which I totally think is fine. I mean, the game is pretty big as it is, and includes a lot of Breath of the Wild's DLC as it stands, so. There is a, a sheer, like, incredibly large amount of content involved in this game. Right, Um, I can't remember if doing a stealth attack wakes everyone up in the immediate area. I'm going to start with this one in case it does. I wonder if even if you take out all the monsters, if they still have to, you still have to do the, the bridge for them to finish this quest, or they'll just be like, Oh, wow, you took out all the monsters by yourself. I'm just kind of curious to see if I can take out all these monsters by myself, to be honest with you. Plus, they're uh, tier 3 ones, so they'll give you good resources. Lights out! Wow, this stealth weapon is something else, and it does keep us in stealth. And it's a black moblin horn. Some guts. Yes. This looks like it's gonna work. Oh, what time is it? 3.20 a.m. I have to act past before they wake up. <laughs> Shush. Oh, I thought that was the stealth prompt. Shit. Ah, oh, god damn it. That's dumb. I want to load this. <laughs> Little stealth looks are just to be sure. Won't ha wouldn't hurt here. Goodbye. 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 That's a nice looking sword you had there. Goodbye. Let's just fuse something to this real quick. Uh, why not? Fuse the royal broadsword to it. <laughs> right, the broadswords increase your flurry in this game. Goodbye. Oh my. Okay, they're both facing that way, are they? There's no one facing over here. I don't think. Rain's extinguishing all their fires. And masking the sound of my footsteps. Oh boy. That one's looking right over where I'm about to climb up. <laughs> Hang on, maybe the rain will also mask the sound of my... Ooh, what if I just climb this ladder and then jump down at them? The, the Cobblin will see me here, but if I can stealth attack the Moblin, 
then I can one-shot it, probably. It turned around. It somehow noticed that. That's fine. Uh, that's fine. That works, I guess. Okay, you're gonna throw you at me. You might throw over them overboard and uh, they'll drown, which would be very useful for me. But fine, you don't have a weapon at all so right now, so I may as well go uh, ahead with a few shots on you. Headshot! 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 And stab you when you land on the ground, and then wonk, 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 wonk. No, I got a blast in my face! Got you all those charred peppers from all that tumbleweed incident, and a whole crab. All right, now you. That's enough. And to the depths with you as well! Yeah! 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 You broke my weapon! I shall have to beat you down with seeds! Yeah. No, don't wait. I'm sorry. Bah! Now, roasted bass, help me. Poke, 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 poke. Yay! A very perfect stealth kind of day for us. What a warrior! You're incredible. Do you have to be rewarded? Do you have a minute? <laughs> sure, I've got a minute. Why not? Did you ever surprise me? There we were, totally flummoxed by the collapsed bridge, and you come swooping in and wipe out every last monster, all by yourself too. Oh hey, I've still got to give you your reward. I imagine they wouldn't have- they wouldn't be able to die if they- if I had fixed the bridge, but just in case they could have gotten hurt or something. I would- I preferred to do it that way. We finally got some really good use out of that. Stealth weapon of ours. Oh hey, I've still got to give you your reward. Why, thank you! And also, good job pressing L to soothe your horse. We have to train. We have to get stronger. We have to get ready for what's next. The plan is to head northwest to the south to Banta Field in Hebra. Um, if we happen to meet again, consider fighting beside us, okay? May the goddess Hylia keep you safe, brave warrior! Thank you, and likewise. So that probably is telling us where the next such, uh, big enemy wave is, which is kind of fun. Oh, and they do leave all the spoils behind for us. Perfect! I don't want to stop this episode until we find one more shrine, though, so... I should keep going, really. If sturdy wooden stick, that'd be a nice base. Ooh, and a knight's shield. Um, we surely got some shields. We can... Yeah, we'll stick a knight's shield on the end of, uh... Or the other way around. Drop this, and then... Stick the, that on the end of the knight's shield. There we go. Get a whole bunch of doubled up shields. Uh, let me drop this and photograph the royal broadsword. I did that sort of impulsively. I'll get it in the book, but I, um, I'll, I'll take it off now and put something better on it. In fact, if, uh, if doing a stealth attack doesn't wake up anyone around you, I may as well put, uh, Gibdo bones on the end of it. And it'll break off, uh, instantly, but that's fine, because we can just, uh, put another one on if, if we're in stealth, anyway. A sturdy long stick. Uh, let us just put the sturdy <laughs> short stick on the end of it, shall we? Or should we put a- no, we've got better, uh, materials to put on the end of it. Um, time to make a diamond one? Probably not. Let's just do a black macabre horn one. These are uh, classic of ours. And with this rock sledge, uh, let's uh, bust up all these barrels and stuff. Take their spoils. Oh, right, really, it's more efficient to just uh, stick them to each other and pick them up and throw them down. Arrows of plenty. How many of those we got? 60 at the moment. Oh my, I must have been using more than I thought. And if we ascend up here, that's a lot of cobwebs. <laughs> Any goods up on the crow's nest on this side? Apparently not. So this is well worth the venture, I believe. I'm glad we were able to help all those people without having risking them as well. <laughs> that looks like Farosh over there. My god, you just can't keep away, can you? Oh no, it's a glyph! Have we been there? Oh, let's go there then and get a glyph then. Perhaps that'll be our progress for this episode and not in fact a shrine like I was thinking. Though I was eager to get a shrine puzzle of, of sorts. Uh, done. It's because they're, uh, they're good fun. I have to my stealth up so I can sprint at you and it's fine, yeah! <laughs> a glyph is also a fine way to end off uh, an episode, I believe, and a, a, the main progress to have made here. This rain is gonna make this very difficult in a minute. No, there's a nice flat bit right here. I can get right there. Ah, perfect. Grab my breath back here and... And it's fine. It's easy to climb this place. I like this place. Oh, why not? Let's cut some grass for old time's sake. Yeah! 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 All right, to little avail. Man, the quick charge thing of the soldiers is actually a, is a, is a pretty cool uh, uh, um, extra ability. I can see that being very nice for um, well, for spears predominantly, because that means that means you get to charge a lot of hits really quickly. I don't really know about. Um, I don't think it would be that useful for a one hander, but I, what I don't know is what it would do even for a um, two hander. I don't think I had a picture of that dragonfly. I should have taken one. Actually, well, there's one. There's likely to be- oh my god, another right in front of my face. Uh, Evermean is there, but I'm looking on the dragonfly, please. Thanks. The stealth and the rain are both helping me tremendously here. You get a nice picture. Ooh, that's an even better one, isn't it? So anyway, like I was saying, one shrine, one big story, big story progress, one tower, or one memory, generally, are the- That's the minimum requirement for one episode, uh, by my reckoning. 
We already have a picture of these stags, lovely stags, do we? Yes, and which one of these does it never mean? That there is one. Well, there are more. There's more than one. Maybe we should just go. Ah, oh, this memory is right beside Lake Hylia. There ought to be a shrine near there as well, so. The purpose of this trip will be twofold. Perhaps we won't even get to the memory today. We'll just start find by finding a shrine near there. Because I am sort of more in the mood for uh, uh, a shrine, to be honest with you. I had my heart set on getting one. At least one today. A doobity doobity doo. Spring times five. I like the sound of that. Oh my god, you can make like a leapfrog machine. Where like it kicks its feet and like boings and you and you like bounce along. That would be so much fun. I really have not tapped into the, the, the machine building in this game nearly enough, but I... It's mostly because I don't have wheels and steering wheels. Those are the two things I'm I'm missing, and I uh, the second I find a dispenser that provides them, I'll be able to get much farther along there. What is that? Another Islander Hawk? It looks pretty big for that. I don't know, maybe it is. I thought it was farther away. In Breath of the Wild, there was a shrine right down in there, I believe. There's not like there's one there now. But we approach a glyph, and we're actually right next to the Great Plateau once again. Which I didn't mean for. If I spy a shrine in between uh, us and that glyph, then I will take that first. But, oh, wait, uh, oops. Oh, you think you're gonna shoot me, but I'll be the one who shoots the you! <laughs> Sorry, horse, didn't mean to scare you. A spiked Pokobo! Oh, that's a new one for me. We've only found a uh, dragon spiked Pokobo, so it probably means I don't have that in the book. Yaha! Oh, I can't believe you didn't notice that. Oh, yeah, you've got armor. I've, I've seen this before. You need to, like, burn the armor off or something. Wouldn't that hurt the horse? That horse looks an awful lot like licorice. Um, uh, okay, uh, interesting. If I set fire to them, though... Oh, let's try lightning, because I have more of those. Nope, didn't care about that at all. Um, hang on, maybe there's a way to do this without setting fire to the horse. No, I think I'm just gonna have to, and the horse will probably hopefully have the good sense to kick it off at that point. Sorry, horse! There we go, okay. I can at least get started. Oh my god, it doesn't stagger you if you get hit while you have the armor on. That's not good. Wait, this isn't doing anything. Unless you're, this is like rock armor and I need to do something like this. Ah, I see. I thought that was like leather armor. No more armor for you. You've lost armor privileges. And uh, living privileges, apparently. Ooh, a bit of your their arm, or armor fell off. I can fuse it, I guess. Armor shard. Very well, because I'm curious, let's destroy the, the broadsword off this and see what it gives you. Plus five, not bad. I shall stab you with your own armor! Ha <laughs> ha! Over the edge with you! Oh, I haven't photographed this blue bokoblin horn that's bayblading down the hill. Very well, I'm not thinking we're gonna find a shrine in between here and that glyph. It looks like we are, it's going to be a glyph, glyphy kind of day. What's a whirlpool right there? I kind of just have to know what's going on there. I suppose that'll be waving for next time, though. Let me just mark that, in case I happen to forget somehow. Next episode, we'll probably either be heading to investigate that Whirlpool first, or uh, to the Grey Plateau, as both are very close by. Ooh, have we actually photographed a grassland fox yet? Yes, we have. Ah, it's good to be back. Oh, that's an entrance to the depths down there now. Interesting. Have we found any shrines in the depths? I don't think we have, have we? It's all been light routes. Maybe there aren't any shrines in the depths. Oh my, it's a big pretty glyph, this. Can't tell what it details at this moment here, but um, if we start at the top of the hill and head down, we should be... Uh, have an easy time finding where the memory is stored. Usually it'll be stored on a flat plane so it has the little bowl that can contain the tear. Oh my, there is a shrine up there. Slash, that's the one we uh, got our, that's the one we started at, is it? If I could aim the damn pointer at it. Uh, yes, precisely. For all, from here it should be very easy to spy the uh, memory when we find it. But I also spy a Korok. Ow, bass. Hello, poomp. Yeah, we don't need that anymore. Curious, I don't see the memory as of yet. There must be some flat part of this glyph that I do not see. This looks sort of flat right here, doesn't it? It is cool how, like, even though these things aren't, like, so human, like, they're very big, but they're not, like, so huge that you couldn't walk from one end to the other in, like, 30 seconds, but they're still big enough that it's sort of tricky to find the, uh, memories in if you're not, if you don't have a good angle on it, so it necessitates uh, that you interact with it in a, w you know, with some care and thought. It does feel like we're basically just on a sheer wall at this point, though. You know, maybe up there? That's a bit flatter right at the corner. Oh yeah, that looks right. Aha! Perfect. Well then! It's movie time, baby! Movie night with Link. I'd go to it. What happened on the edge of this lake oh so long ago? We are about to discover this truth, this <laughs> hidden fact of life. Before us, it glows with power and sincerity and truth and padding. For a while, it's loading the cutscene. 
Okay, it's gonna go now. I'll shut up. Ah, uh, they have Zonai armor, but they were Hylians. I mean, they had the archaic tunic design. Oh, Sonya. What? No! Why? C'est toi, Zelda? Votre Majesté, demain vous lancerez l'offensive contre le Roi Démon. Ne livrez pas bataille sans m'avoir entendu. À mon époque, quelques instants avant que je voyage vers vous, nous avons découvert une créature en sommeil. <laughs> He wasn't a nice man. Oui, continue. Lorsque j'ai assisté à la transformation de Ganondorf sous l'effet de la pierre occulte, j'en ai eu la certitude absolue. La créature du souterrain, c'était lui. Ok, donc nous n'avons pas vu ce qu'elle parle de maintenant. Vivant, invaincu. Il a survécu jusqu'à mon époque. Comprenez-vous ce que cela signifie Nous livrerons bataille Meaning demain. Meaning que vous allez perdre. Mais nous ne la gagnerons pas, quels que soient nos efforts. Tout est joué d'avance. Le roi des monts survivra alors que vous. Vous mourrez. Votre Majesté. <laughs> She just said you're gonna die in, the, in French. It's hilarious. The subtitles for the English version. Peut-être, en effet, mais c'est un risque que je suis prêt à courir. C'est mon orgueil qui nous a mis dans cette situation. J'ai commis une grave erreur et je ferai tout pour la réparer. Car enfin et avant tout, je suis le souverain du royaume d'Irul et en tant que tel. J'ai pour devoir sacré de protéger mon peuple. Ma vie, elle n'a que peu d'importance en comparaison. Oh, votre Majesté. Et puis, s'il s'avère que nous ne parvenions pas à détruire Ganondorf, il restera ton chevalier, le jeune homme à la lame purificatrice. Wow. Si nous échouons, tout Not reposera a sur lui. Mais ne perds pas espoir. L'avenir que tu as vu est celui d'un monde où tu n'as jamais visité notre époque. Or, tu es là aujourd'hui. Zelda, si tu as traversé le temps, ce n'est pas un hasard. Il y a une raison à ta présence. Il doit y en avoir une. C'est vrai. Very interesting. There is a lot we have learned just now. Um, so Sonia didn't die fighting Gandorf with Rauru. She got killed somehow else. Right, naturally. This, the reason Zelda has the stone is because it fell off Gandorf. So he had Sonia's stone. He killed, killed her and took it, I suppose. Because then she was all like, I've seen what he, he, the power he got, what she said, she just said just now, the power he got when he touched that stone, I'm sure it's what kept him alive till our time. So they must have seen him kill Sonya and take that, which is what we have not seen yet. That's probably one of the other memories. Interesting. I wonder if that is an interesting I idea altogether. I didn't really understand what Raru said. He said something about that was a future in which you were not sent here, but this is the past. So what do you mean the future? I guess he, what he's saying is he's trying to make sense of time travel and be like, that was before you had traveled back in time. So now if you travel back in time, maybe you can change the future where I died. And uh, that, that's what he was saying. Uh, I believe there's some reason you were sent here and all that. Very curious. So as far as we know in present time, Rauru and Sonya are both most dead. So seemingly they did lose as Zelda predicted. But there was another thing that was said that caught my ear that I'm now blanking on. Let me watch it again. Oh, that's right. Um, he said, Raru said it was my hubris that brought us onto this path. And I, I wonder if maybe what he meant, what he was referring to is that my hubris and trying to keep a close eye on Ganondorf by like accepting his swearing of fealty. But I suppose we'll know precisely what he's referring to by my hubris uh, when we get some more memories because we obviously are missing many. And what is this, the, the shape of this glyph here? Oh, it's Sonia's grave. Well, that's upsetting. Man, her her whole like motif is all about like the sun, isn't it? She had little sundials on her grave and everything, and she's 
Got such a bright and sunny face. That's the power couple of the century right there. Uh, but more importantly, <laughs> that's all for now in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, episode 19, in fact. Uh, yes, indeed, next episode we are either going to head off to that whirlpool because it looks really important. Oh, there's a heck another Gliok. Is it similarly a flame Gliok or? Yeah. Uh, no thanks. Not for some time yet. Not till I have a way larger weapon capacity. Ooh, is that a shrine we've not been to? It most certainly is. There are a few over here, actually. So we may either um, head up sort of north and go to the Great Plateau in the sort of surrounding area, get a few shrines there, because there are a bunch on the open plains here. Or we may go investigate that whirlpool. We shall decide when we get there, because I don't know yet <laughs> how I will feel about that at that time. But that's all for now. Next video on the channel is going to be some more Pikmin 4. And thank you so very much for joining me in Hyrule again for our adventuring, because I love our adventures that we have, you and I. We're great at getting into trouble, and even better getting out. That's all. Thank you so very much for coming around. Hopefully I will see you around. Emerald's going to be out of here now. Peace! Consequences of what has led to is very redundant and doesn't make any sense. Uh, so I just have to throw them through the bars here. Some of them are going through. I'm, I'm not moving the stick at all, but it's it's, it's moving the cur cursor around, which is very weird. I kind of like that this one's very claustrophobic, though, and doesn't give you a lot of time to sort of relax. Come on! It's every- it's our entire force!